Hello and welcome to Scale War Machines. Time for another guide looking at popular modelling products. Here's what we'll be looking at this time. When you think of photo etch, you might automatically think of vehicle upgrade sets for your tanks or AFVs. But photo etch detail sets also have many other uses and are extremely versatile. We've been sent a selection of photo etch sets that are manufactured by ABA of Poland. You can get all these ABA sets from Hysterex agents. They're the ones who've sent us these and we're going to take a look at them. The idea is we very quickly introduce you to some of the potential uses for photo etch and we show you some of the sets manufactured by ABA that you might not necessarily expect. And at the end, we'll show how you use some of these different items. Starting off, you may not have considered this, but you can use a set like 35A101 screw heads on your tanks and AFVs to depict all the little details and screw construction that you often see on vehicles. There you can clearly see that the set has a number of different sized items. Why not use Photo Etch to make a toolbox and the tools inside it? That's a great idea. Item 35A68 hand tools. Little items like these spanners are really, really useful for diorama builders, and you can also see some screwdrivers there as well. Here's a set we use a lot. It's an extremely useful item, 35A21 buckles and straps. These are particularly useful for detailing your stowage if you make your own stowage, and these are indispensable. You can also use them on figures or on rifles and so on, but they're especially useful for building convincing looking stowage. Again, for scratch builders, these two items could prove to be extremely useful. Wing nuts, especially useful if you're modeling German vehicles. And again, you get a variety of sizes. That's 35A26. There you can see the level of detail. Meanwhile, the bolts and nuts, again, different sizes, is referenced 35A15. Also pretty tricky to depict, especially if they're smaller chains. Now you could use real chains, but an alternative once again is provided by ABA in the form of photo etched brass. Reference 35A16, you get three different sizes there and they're pretty simple to remove and apply to your models. Likewise, if you're looking for a hassle-free way to quickly add a convincing set of rounds for your machine guns, you can always use their ammo belts, 30 and 50 cal. Reference 35A47. The way to make these work is to cut them out and apply something like Mr. Surfacer on top, which is a sort of putty-based filling agent, and that will just round off the rounds and will add a bit of shape to the surface so they're not too flat. For your figures, there are these references. 35A123, belts and straps for rifles, carbines, submachine guns, and so on, and you get buckles. What we'll do is we'll use all these three figure-based references and we'll road test them for you today. And we'll try that out on these figures. Here's a great idea that plays to the strengths of Photo Etch. Reference 35A124, glasses and watches. That's a great idea to add to your soldiers, both sunglasses and glasses, and as well the watches. So we'll try those out. And we're gonna use them with these items from Hornet. We've got some Hornet heads and some Hornet hands. Once you've cut them out, it's just a simple case of using fine tweezers to bend them into shape and apply them to your model. And here you can see the result. Also in the range is reference 35A111, insignia for German soldiers. This works in much the same way and adds more precise detail to your figures. What we did first was we rubbed down any surface detail on the stock plastic figure and having detached each item we simply glued them into place and here you can see the end result. 
So that's a very brief introduction to using Photo Etch in a different way for your scratch builds, dioramas, and especially your figures. And the catalog is immense. You're bound to find something of interest and of use. Thanks for watching this short introduction. Bye for now. There's more videos on the website and you can check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities. Bye for now.